In this video, I'm gonna cover hiding, unhiding columns of rows, and also grouping and ungrouping columns and rows. So first of all, let's see what type of problem we're trying to fix here. If you work with data that has a lot of columns, so right now, if you look here, I can keep scrolling right, I have a bunch of columns going to the right, If I'm trying to work with this permit and review types, and I'm trying to review their total fee, all of these columns are right now getting on a way for me to get the job done. So one thing to solve that problem is to hide those columns. So this is the way you hide those columns. You click and hold your mouse on one of the columns you're trying to hide. So this is the first column I need hidden. And then I keep going like this until I select all these columns, not including that total fee column. So all the columns in the middle. So once I have all of those selected, I just right click someplace in here in this area that I selected and do hide columns. And what's going to happen, see now there's this little tiny thing showing up here, basically indicating that there are hidden columns and you can see how it jumps from D to Y. And now I can easily work with these columns because now total fees are showing up right next to these other columns. And if you need other columns hidden in here, you can hide those too. So let's say we also don't need these two columns in here. I can also select those, right click and hide those. So when you decide you want to unhide your columns, what do you do? You just go here, see those arrows, just click in that area where you see the arrows and it's just gonna unhide those. And if I wanted to unhide these two, I would just click on this part right here. Generally speaking, I don't suggest using hiding columns when you're working with this sort of scenario. Most of the time when hiding is a good idea is when you're trying to print something really quickly, but you don't want some columns printed. So for example, if I wanted to print something and I only needed like this much printed, not including those columns in the middle and also not including this columns after, I would basically just hide those and also just select all of these other columns and hide those as well. So now I just have the columns that I need printed showing up here. So I can go under file and do print. And what you'll see is that only those columns are gonna be now popping up in my print. Now you can do portrait, you can do landscape, whatever you have to do. And basically we only have the columns we're actually trying to print. So once you're done with your printing, you can cancel this and then just go back and unhide this thing to get your columns back. Now, the reason that hiding is not a very good idea for regular workflow is because it's very easy to miss hidden columns. What very often happens, you hide a column and as you do things, you forget about it. And then because you have so many columns, it's very easy to miss that you have those hidden columns someplace in here. Another reason for it is Usually when you're hiding some columns, at some point you are probably gonna need to unhide it to work with the rest of the data and then hide it back to get back to your original workflow. And that makes it very difficult to work with these features. So this is where grouping comes in. So let me unhide these and show you how group works. So grouping is very similar to hiding. So what you do, you again, just select the columns you need hidden. So I'm gonna start from here. Well, let's say the application start date, I'm gonna keep this time. So I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna start from here and keep going until that total fee. So this time, instead of right clicking here and doing hide, I'm gonna right click and do group columns. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna add this little minus sign. So by default, it's either gonna put that minus on the right top corner here, or it could also put that minus sometimes in the left top corner here. And you should be able to move where that corner is, if I'm not mistaken, if you just right click in here on top, see there is this move the button to the left. So now if I click on that, you'll see how it's gonna take that minus 
to the left corner. And then you can right click again and move it to the right corner. So the main thing here is that what it does now, it allows you to just click on this minus sign. And when you do that, it basically just hides those columns. But you have this very obvious visual indicator for this plus sign that you have some hidden columns here. And what's also nice about this, if I need to get back to the data that was in between here, because for a second I'm trying to check something in the middle of these columns, I could just go here and click on this plus, and that will just expand this and show me all these other columns that are in the middle here. And I can just quickly see whatever I have to check for. So maybe I'm trying to see if they have zoning fees waived or something like that. And once I'm done with that, I can click on that minus again, and it's back to hiding the same columns I had originally selected. And now I'm back to my workflow where I can just get back here and work with this. And similar to hiding multiple sections, you can also do multiple groups. So I can go here and say, okay, so the next group I would like is gonna be from here through here. Right click and I do group and there is another minus sign so I can click on it, it will collapse that part and you can just make more as necessary. Now if you're trying to remove this at some point, you can click on this little plus to expand it first and then you just select that area and it doesn't have to be exactly the same area, you just want to make sure that whatever columns you select contains that grouping. And then you just go ahead and right click and do on group. I'm still gonna have this other plus because I didn't take that off. Another thing that's interesting about grouping is that you can group inside of groups. So I can open this group for a second and let's say I want a subgroup inside of this group. So I want to be able to maybe close like these columns inside of the group. So I can go ahead and select that, right click and group those two. And see now I have this internal minus icon to basically close this. So I can go ahead and do minus and that section is closing. We also have the big minus to basically close the bigger section. All right, so let's go ahead and just take all these groupings out of here. So I'm just gonna click on this column A and do Control shift right or command shift right to select all the way. Then I'm gonna right click here and do ungroup. And then because I have two groups, I'm gonna do this again. Right click and do ungroup for the second time. And that's just gonna take these groupings out for me. I'm now back to my original data. And you could apply the same thing with hiding or unhiding. So if you have a bunch of hidden columns, if you just want to unhide all of those, Again, I could just click on this column A, Control shift right or command shift right to select the entire area and then right click and basically just do on hide columns. And that should just get all those columns back for me without the need of going and selecting each one and opening it. So with groups, there are some nice shortcuts you could use to improve your workflow. So for example, if I'm trying to group these columns, I can just select those. And then what you do, you do Alt Shift and use your arrow keys. If you're on a Mac, that's Option Shift. So I'm gonna do Alt Shift and then I'm gonna do arrow key right. And you can see as soon as I did that, it created this grouping for me. And then if I wanted to remove that grouping, I can do that same Alt Shift left arrow key and that removes the group. Alt Shift right, I have the group, Alt Shift left, it's gone. So now I can do Alt Shift right to create the group. And then I can do Alt Shift up arrow key and that will see close the group. And then if I want to open the group, I do Alt Shift down and it opens it. So again, if I'm in this section and I want to get this out of the way, I just do Alt Shift up, gone. Then Alt Shift down, back. So very easy like this to work. So let me just ungroup this. Let's just go back to that original thing I was doing. So I'm gonna go here, start from here, go to that total fees, and then do my Alt Shift right. And then I'm gonna do Alt Shift up, and that's gonna close the group. So now we're in here. Anytime I wanna see Alt Shift down, that opens up, I can go and work in this. And then I wanna remove it, Alt Shift up, it's gone.
And all of this works the same way with rows. So if I just go here and select some rows and then do Alt Shift right, see it creates this grouping. And then I'm gonna do Alt Shift up arrow key. That's gonna close that section. And there is my group. See, we have this little grouping here. We can open that. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.